Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities in Miniature. It is Friday, which means it's time once more for our Obscurities in Literature. And I'm pretty sure that today is a nice obscurity for you. So I've got this nice spot-coated UV glossy book in front of me with some really fancy looking art here on both the front and the back. And it is quite nicely illustrated. But what is this book? Well, you can see it's kind of sort of there and sort of there this is actually originally on kickstarter this is the luminous echo world compendium and you can just hear that crinkle as i open the book up now i want you to notice that art and if you are familiar at all with any of the tabletop games it should look somewhat like something from anima tactics and well there's a reason for that because if you take a look right here at the lead developer and graphic designer it says Wen Yu Lee who actually was the art director for anima tactics and anima genesis and basically the whole anima universe so if you're familiar with the anima game that cypher studios put out well then you're in for a treat because this book is pretty much nothing but artwork by when you read it's actually kind of a background book for a rpg setting with all kinds of fluffy text if you're into that kind of thing i certainly am but i'm also into the artwork as well uh, the art for anima always reminded me a bit of like uh, Jim Chung, if you guys are familiar with him, the artist that did a bunch of work for, well, he we started with CrossGen, I think, doing Scion, and then he went on and did a ton of like Avengers stuff for Marvel and whatnot. But anyway, um, just really gorgeous artwork in this book. And that's pretty much the reason I got it. It just, I, it's something that really spoke to me. I always was a fan of the anima art style. And even her clothes are vaguely anima-like. And I keep bringing up anima for a, actually a very good reason as I flip through this book. So we've got, you know, just interesting people in the world. We've got all kinds of text about famous faces, areas, but then they have a little mini bestiary section for some of the various areas that you can visit in the game. Some of the vaguely Final Fantasy, uh, which one was it that had the judges? Nine? Twelve? I don't know, twelve I think. So yeah, some of the art looks a little bit different, but there are a few artists involved here. I'm thinking that some of them who did, like, the background art here, we have the Far East Asian country, with a bunch of dwarves drinking, some nice looking buns there, yokai type monsters, fancy pants adventurers, vaguely animal-like looking face masks. Actually, you know what? A lot of the art in Anima really kind of laid the groundwork, I think, for stuff like Madara. If you guys are familiar with Madara, it has a very similar vibe going for it. And if you've ever heard me ramble on, you know, I really do enjoy that anime manga aesthetic. I don't know if people really pull that off on the tabletop. Anima was one of the first to really try and sell that as a major focal point. Um, outside of Madara, I can't think of many other companies that have really given it a shot. So I'm just jumping through here. This is a pretty big book. And there's quite a lot to digest if you're into all the lore writing, and I certainly am. And it just, it seems like, you know... predecessor of games like Medora. Gotta have your heroes with their flying swords. One of the bestiary sections are always my kids' favorites, and one of my favorites. I love encyclopedia-like books that just chronicle and collect all that kind of info, so there's a good chance I'll show some of those off in the near future. Your giant boss monster types. And really cool thing in the back here 
is oh what's this lo and behold we've got stats for just about all of the important characters and monsters now here's what's funny we have pathfinder we got D D, and oh my goodness we've got anima stats as well surprise surprise actually i think that's really cool that they bothered to include that so there's all kinds of stuff in the back here about all that about some of the items Various info, all of the original Kickstarter backers, maybe my name's in there, maybe you'll never know. But all in all, just a fun, interesting find. Good luck tracking one down, um, as far as I know, and I slam the camera on the table there. This was just put out to Kickstarter backers, I don't know if there were any excess out there. Um, just, I know, a quick glance online, I didn't come across any. But it does seem that, I don't know if he's still working on it, but um, the artist Wen Yu Lee was also doing some other stuff. Um, in Essentia, I think, was one game that he worked on. It was, I think it was an Italian game, though. Uh, I know he did the art for that. Um, I think he has a project he's been working on. It seems it's been put on hiatus called Rose Gladia. Uh, I noticed there was a Patreon account for that. I'll put the link down there below if you're curious to check it out. Um, I know he's posted stuff on his DeviantArt page, but I just, I really would like to see his art really translated well into tabletop stuff. Um, I think we're at the point now where, you know, with 3D printers and the rendering technology, we could probably get stuff that actually looks comparable to this rather than what we ended up with for Anima Tactics. Not to knock the sculptors themselves back then, you know, I mean, it's it's been a few years since Anima Tactics, you know, debuted, but uh, yeah, we'd really like to see these kinds of designs more often on the table than not. So just a fun little nugget of info for you there. Hopefully you guys have found that interesting. Do take a look and check out some of these books if you ever come across any. By all means, let me know, because I think somewhere out there, there is that Incansentia think there's editions out there in English and I know they're full of art but uh I also think that there's an anima book just of nothing but when you use art so someday I'm going to try to track that down anyway with that said this has been High Lord Tamberling with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching we'll see you back here soon bye bye